So we ended last episode with a 2-1 win against Atletico Madrid. And now for our very first final on this series, we have the final match against FC Barcelona in the Supra Copa. Now, obviously, Barcelona is going to be using the Tiki Taka. I'm not really interested in the training sessions. And then let's look at the team we are looking to go for. So Florian Verts is obviously going to start the match because, you know, I want him to start the match. And yeah, we sold Cruz in the previous episode. It was a pretty sad sight to see him go, but this is going to be the team we're going to be playing this match with. It's basically the best team we can put out there. And well, let's see if we can get the win. All right, we are starting now in the Estadio El Sadar, the, the location, the venue for the final match of the Super Copa. Now, let's hope that we can... Okay, and that's the first, the first error. I don't know what to do here, but let's try our best to make sure they do not score and well it does end up with a corner for them good save from Courtois. Well, on the bright side is the possibility of a counter attack here and of course oh bellingham still has the ball can we get this to valverde no we cannot and we have completely screwed that up like we screw everything else up in life all right so they scored but it's an offside and i don't even like the way they scored now to be they deserve the because they've been the better side all through this and <clears throat> if we don't sit up we're probably going to lose this match to be honest and it's going to suck because it will be really nice to like get a trophy and look at us already already making stupid ass mistakes all right and yeah that is their goal like i said before it's very much deserved they do deserve to win the to win this match at this point to be honest because i mean we haven't even done anything important at all like it's so crazy because we haven't even gone got into to their their box let's see if we can change that back to bellingham to rodrigo offside and he doesn't even score i don't i don't know what the hell that kind of finish was all right bago was very much avoidable i mean it's actually so annoying that they scored that goal just now I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no idea what the hell I'm doing in this match. And, well, let's just move on. All right, so here they go, getting ready to score their next goal. And of course, the keeper is doing absolute bullshit there. And it's 3-0 in 33 minutes against Real Madrid. I don't know what I'm doing wrong with this match. This is the chance for to get a quadruple in Spain. And we can't even get past Barcelona. I mean, their team is tough. And I have no idea what my team is doing here, but, you know, I mean, we don't give up. So let's try and just change the outcome of this match. Okay, Alexander-Arnold, then Rodrigo, then Vinicius, and I have no idea what that was, but we still end up in a goal. And with the fact that we have scored there, that might just be the switch that, that puts the team back on. So I really hope that's what it is. I probably should have just passed, like a normal pass with Rodrigo. And we'll have made, we'll have um, saved him a lot of time for the finish. But I mean, he still scored the goal and that's what matters. All right, Bellingham. Maybe that's a good goal from him. That's a really good goal from him. And yeah, the lagging is crazy though. I have no idea how to fix it. I tried and it's just not working for some reason. Yeah, it was a good, it was a good pass from Rodrigo and well, Bellingham never going to miss from there. All right, so this has been a pretty high scoring match and it's it's not even half time yet. Five goals. And let's try and... Honestly, that's actually really annoying goal. It's like, it's like, I ha it's like I'm just completely switched off in this video, to be honest. And I hope it's just for this match, because I can't, I can't have this for the rest of the video, though. Because I'm playing absolutely, absolutely shit. I was really happy with the one goal deficit that we were able to work to get. But now, I was just, I was screwed up again. For Jan Verts, I really haven't seen what he has done in this match. I'm going to be taking him off for Kamavinga. Rudiger is also kind of low on energy. I'm going to take him up eventually, but not now for Alaba, of course. We're starting the second half now, and let's hope this is the start of rather let's continue our comeback that we were able to start in the in the first half. So all that's needed is hard work and a bit of luck from the game. Because if you do not have luck in this game, you're never ever going to be the CPU. Let's give this to Alexander Arnold. Valverde. Ah, that's offside. Crap. He doesn't even score that for some reason. But I mean, we're looking good. We are actually 
like making the the advances towards their goal so i just need my two goals i mean we are we are getting closer we are doing better than the last half and the first half for some reason it's just not good enough because we're not getting getting the balls into the final third and look at that look at that good good save we could have used that against his first goal we honestly could have used that against first goal but let's see if we can start the counter attack here Vinicius should be fast enough and i see bellingham he's probably not going to get there so let's hope Vinicius does and that's a good run and good goal from Vinicius so we have one more goal to draw level and we have to absolutely make sure that these guys do not score no matter what good goal i was actually looking to give it to bellingham but i mean he just didn't get himself in a very good position i mean he wasn't fast enough to get himself in the position i wanted him to but i mean we we do get the goal 4-3 game on baby all right we're looking good here mendy maybe get the goal please thank you and that's 4-4 Probably could have done it with Vinicius, but I just feel like I just feel like like the game was going to make some really outrageous excuse and get the ball off for feet. So I just had to take the save out towards Mendy, and well, the pass wasn't even very good because he passed it a little bit behind him, but Mendy was able to make up for that really, really well. All right, so we have four back well, and the the, the last thing to do is to is to get the goal that puts the icing on the cake. Hopefully, it's not them because it's looking like it's about to be we got this oh my god it's fucking them it's rather irritating to me honest it's rather irritating when you give your all and that is the shit that happens we have one last chance here one last chance here oh my god oh my god what the hell is that pass I'm, I'm, I'm not even interested to be honest, because that was bullshit we had the perfect chance there we had the perfect freaking chance there and well the game just screwed it up for me i mean i i, I know for a fact that i put enough power on that pass to get it back to bellingham but you know when the game wants to screw you it screws you and there's nothing you can do about it but i mean if you don't get the trouble this season we're most likely going to have another chance and we're probably going to win it next season. La Liga time though, we are drawn on points with Atletico Madrid. And we have Getafe next. This is the team that we're going to be going for in the match. Vinicius, Rodrigo, Bellingham up top. Vert, Brahim and Chouameni. Then Mendy and Carvajal, the fullbacks, Militao and Alaba. At the centre-backs with Courtois in goal. Let's simulate this real quick and see if we can get the win. We do. A 3-1 win. Good win. Um, Vinicius, Mendy and Bellingham get the goals. Vinicius has been doing so well though we currently have him on joint first along with Ferran Torres of Barcelona. Next up we have the La Liga match against Almeria though and we're going to be going with our first team apart from Garcia who comes in for Mendy and we win the match the really close one with Vinicius getting the only goal in the match. Our next match in the Copa de España comes against Elche. The tactical vision is the counter-attack and I mean that's not really useful for me because I'm going to be playing the highlights so um yeah highlights i'm going to be making a couple changes here i almost forgot to do that i'm going to start kamavinga here um i'm going to start carver how for alexander arnold let's bring in Ceballos to the team and he's going to play for valverde carver how gets the 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 captain's armband i'm going to start rodrigo up top and put um, Aragula here and I'm going to switch him with Florian Bird. So I mean that's what I'm going to be going for in this match and let's see if we can get the win. You know, that loss against Barcelona still sucks because I mean we were really bad in the first half but then in the first half of the first half we were really bad but then we were able to pick up the pace. We got our form back a little bit too late and yeah it was way too late so I mean the last goal that you scored was just bullshit but there's nothing i can do about that i mean it's in the past now so we just have to work on on our future I and mean, we still have champions league we still have the copa de espana which i'm currently on and we still have the la liga and there's still every there's every possibility that we're going to win the la liga because we are unrelenting we are obviously defeated now but i mean we are we are supposed to remain strong freaky for real madrid this is Okay, I was thinking it was going to be Alaba. Alaba is not in the match, probably, that's why. So, Adagula, his free kick is actually really okay, but his power is not good enough. But I think I'm going to go for him, actually. You know what? <laughs> that's actually that's actually crazy to be going for him. But, 
Let's see what I can do here though. His curve is 84, so he has he has a good curve on him. So let's see if I can get this in the back of the net. And the free kick caught cleanly by the keeper. <laughs> that was a weaker shot. All right, try and defend this as best as possible. Long cross by LJ. So this is not really this is so not far. good at all because this is just giving them a really good chance here. Or let's call to do something which he does, and yeah, I love I love that for him. So um, attack for Real Madrid is pretty much a should be a goal. If I'm wrong. If Vinicius can't get through though, maybe he does and that's a good goal. Good goal to start the match and well that is very much needed. Go to the, the um, LJ fans and let it pain them. Let it pain them because I'm pained that we did not win that match against whatever that, the fuck that team was Barcelona. But we have a an attack here though and nothing's probably going to come of this. Well, I mean, we can always... Oh, Aragula, maybe? The referee's whistle, full-time it is. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's a good thing that we weren't level or anything was happening. I, I would have been so paid, but we do get the win. Minutes, and and well, we are through to the next round of the Copa de España. Next up, we have Las Palmas, though. And then we're going to be playing this match against Racing Santander in the Copa de España. Then we have Atletico Madrid, a match that I'm not going to play because that is one match that's going to annoy it hell out of me the match against las palmas ends in a 2-0 win with rodrigo getting a brace so it's transplanted line day and i want to try and go for either jonathan david or dushan vlahovic dushan vlahovic is way more expensive but um i think i think i might go for um jonathan david that's because i want a striker that can be a backup for vinicius and rodrigo up there and that's the, that's the only reason I'm going for this. He's the perfect player to go for with what I want right now because I'm not planning on changing that formation. I mean, even though it's probably the formation that is fucking me up in my games, but if he's going to be a first team striker, I mean, I really don't mind because I really don't play through to the striker. I usually play from the wings. And well, if the striker is good enough, which he is, then he probably is going to be there to like tap in or make some really good runs or stuff like that. So. Well, I'm going to go for him and then Vlahovic as well. And whoever I can get is who is going to come into the team. All right, so I'm going to start with 40 million here. And all right, so that's just dumb. I probably could have done way better than that. But then as for Dushan Vlahovic, we actually don't have enough money for him. But I'm going to try and see if I can swap out anybody. Well, it's not looking like I have any players that I would want to swap out, to be honest. There's Brahim, who I don't really use in the team, to be honest. So it will make sense for me to swap him out. Um, Danny Ceballos, I don't really play him as as much, but I think I play this guy the least. Yeah, so I mean I'm not really big on this, but if let's just hope that they do agree. So I'm going to drop like 40 million plus him because Vlahovic is somewhat expensive. So I just hope that I haven't overspent on this. I have. Great. So I'm going to delegate for the both of them because usually I don't like negotiating by myself. So I'm going to delegate for him 120 to 170 and then for him 160 to 230. Now we wait and let's see which one of them is the best to bring into the team. Alright, so he has accepted for a four-year contract, £140,000. And to be honest, he's looking like I should like he's looking like I should get him. But then there's also Vlahovic, who is currently a better player and i think he will just fit madrid more if i'm not wrong i think i think he's the he's the number nine that i would need he's the he is the number nine that i would need so you know what? no i'm going to go for vlahovic here and well welcome to the team dushan vlahovic a pretty good transfer deadline day signing and i'm pretty sure the signing was the epic fail okay it really wasn't though so they got brahimi and brahim rather and we got sam vlahovic and we got a b as well so jonathan david i'm really sorry i'm going to have to reject your offer all right so good news we have a couple five-star coaches we have 
this guy who is good in both defense and goalkeeping what i am going to put him in the goalkeeping because well why the hell not and then i think we have another guy in the striker position let's just see if there are any other five stars there aren't so this is the only other five star that we have and well he's going to be going here so that's a 14 for the attack match day against racing santander in the um copa de espana and it's not really a match that i am that much interested in so i'm going to start this guy pretty bold move if you ask me but i mean i really don't care right now Dusan Vlahovic is a player on the team that i've forgotten he's in the team <laughs> completely forgot i bought him there let him start for rodrigo let's make let's no no what no 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 it's not going to make his debut here let's bring Carvajal. don't worry he's not going to start there but alexander arnold is going to come in for Aragula, or rather the other way around and then you know as usual I'm going to do this Ceballos is probably still in the team so he's going to come in um here Alexander Arnold let's just arrange this pretty well Lahovic is not going to start the match so let's hope we do get the win what we have here it's a 2-0 win in our favor Bellingham and Vinicius get the goals for the team next up we have Atletico Madrid in a match I'm really really not interested in playing but this is what the league looks like though the league table looks like rather um we are currently first six points ahead of Sevilla and we're probably going to be nine points if we win this match against Atletico Madrid which I really hope we do Barcelona is really far behind as well and let's just hope that we get the win all right so new player on the block which means our formation is going to change this is what our default formation is going to be from now on Vinicius and Valverde it's actually supposed to be Rodrigo I'm, I'm starting Valverde because you know he's he's higher he's higher rated than Rodrigo so I mean it's going to be like a rotation kind of thing because Valverde can also play in the CM positions so he's going to be there and this position is supposed to be like a CM not a CA and then the right. rest is pretty much the same Bellingham is going to be a right attacking midfielder here Kamavinga is going to be player vert is going to be the person that starts the matches or he's not going to be starting in this match because it's a little bit low on energy so i'm going to be playing the highlights because i really really do not want to play the full match of this and well let's hope that we can get to get another win against the let's go madrid right, so we drew in their stadium the last time and now we are in the santiago bernabeu and we absolutely have to win this this time all right we start off here with um let's go madrid kicking off and well they have the first attack in the 29th minute let's see if we can do our best to win in this match because we haven't really been doing our best in this video i mean it's only one of that match we played and we haven't oh we played two. Oh yeah that's true but well i still i still i'm not really happy about that oh counter attack and i just absolutely wasted it but blahovic forgot you are good in the air oh crap he's fast i forgot he's fast all right that is good they have a penalty which is not entirely very good so let's hope that courtois got this you got this right let's hope you do mind games all right so we we got the director right and well it just wasn't good enough but we have a solo run here and um it's valverde but we're probably going to have to lay off to either Lahovic or vinicius Vinicius is looking like the best option. Definitely a goal. And that is yet another goal scored by Vinicius. And if Vlahovic goes to get his debut goal in this match, I hope he does. And it's a really good chance for him because he's a good header of the ball. So I'm going to be aiming directly for him in this match. Like, okay, that was a bit too much, but we still have the ball. Militao. Belling yeah, this game is absolute bullshit absolute fucking bullshit because we could have we could have gotten a goal there with bellingham but you know okay back to blahovic maybe and we don't score that is sad we draw the match we, we should have scored that i do not know why Vinicius did not score that but that is yet another draw against these guys and well i mean it's not a lot so i'm going to take that either ways next up we have real betis in copa de espana and this team gives me freaking um what do you call it 
nightmares because of that loss against them. I mean, the loss is very much. I mean, the loss against them is very much like the loss against Barcelona. We just screwed up in the first half, and it was just too late to do anything. We made the comeback, but they always, always score at the end of the match for some reason. That was in La Liga. That was months ago. Right now, we are in the Copa de España, and we've had a really good cup run. All we need right now is to get the win against the Real Betis. We haven't won them this series yet. So it's just something that we absolutely have to do. All right, first up, we have a crossing opportunity for Real Madrid. It's not really, it's not really a good one, to be honest. But I mean, it's something. We have Vinicius. Can we get this to Vlahovic? No, we cannot. But yeah, we lost the ball completely there. Long cross by Real Madrid. I think this is supposed to be going to Vlahovic. But I mean, who am I even passing this back to? It's no one to pass it to. Like, he doesn't even get the ball. Which is the crazy thing in its in itself. Maybe something for oh god, that's offside. I mean, he his run is actually picture me off guard. So I'm really not expecting it at all. But I mean, it just happened. So let's see if we can try and work this differently. All right. So we're going to call Vinicius here, and he changed the angle, and Militao just didn't do really well there. Real Madrid attack. All right, so we're having attack after attack after attack. And I'm pretty sure with the way this game works, we're probably going to like regret it if we don't score. That's the offside, please. And it wasn't. I just was impatient. I don't know why I didn't like take one extra touch before I shot there. But hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me in the ass because this is looking like a really bad problem. So let's hope that we can do the needful and prevent the goal we're looking good so far Ugh. all right so we do that and we don't end up getting the ball it's so annoying every single time that shit happens and i didn't even know that Isco was still someone that was alive but we have something here Blahovic, good work from him there good work well rodrigo with the ball he doesn't look like he can outpace anybody Vlahovic with the ball. We're going to have to just pass back. Nice. Get this to Vinicius. Who will score? Not. It was a good counter, to be honest. But now we have a solo run. Um, Vlahovic looking like a really good option here. For, and it's possibly going to be his first goal. So please do not fuck up. You are left-footed. So come on. Thank you. That is first goal of the team. First goal in and it's it's a good one and oh we're even in the semi-final i did not know that and we have a solo run for Vinicius right next and well i'm actually really really surprised that we have done this good but let's i mean it's not over yet but i mean now it's over i don't i doubt they are going to be able to come back especially with the fact that it's playable highlight so i can't screw up even if i wanted to but i mean it's a good goal and good win oh okay so we have to Put the icing on the cake here. You know what? Panenka. Calls for a Panenka. Calls for a Panenka. Come on. Definitely. Really good goal. Really good goal for, for Vlahovic there. Oh, they still have one more chance. And I don't know why our long courses are like this. I mean, there are always players between our player and the goal. But Courtois did really well. But, I mean, the Iglesias guy wasn't able to, like, capitalize on that. But we have a counter... Or they have a counter attack here uh they fucked up come on i feel like i feel like he actually got that in the bag Plenty of support i don't even know if that was him that that made the tackle or not all right let's try and keep our clean sheets that's what's important I mean, we've pretty much already oh my god that is just insane by courtois but we have won the match and we are third to the final of the Copa de España. So this is another final that we have to play and let's hope that if it's against Barcelona we don't fuck up. Next up we have Hirona and I'm not going to be making any changes basically. All right I think I am actually. Let's bring this down to a false nine and then put Florevitz here, put Bellingham here, just stick it up a little bit and then give this opportunity to Modric and then switch the two of them and we are good i guess yeah we're good 
So let's see if we can actually win this match. Hopefully we do. We are home. And yeah, Vinicius gets a brace. Valverde gets the other goal to get the win for the team. Next up, we have Ryo Vallecano. But the thing is that I do not want to play our best team or the, our main team in this match. Because we have the match against Leipzig next. And even though it's the first leg, we don't really have to win it. I mean, it's still a Champions League match and it's really important. This is the team we're starting with. It's not a very good selection, especially with the fact that we're away from home. But I mean, I really don't want to take any chances like for the match against that team. What do you call them? Um, um, Leipzig. But let's see the match and hopefully we come up with a win. We don't take draw. I mean, I will take that every day. Noel does score though. That's really good. Garcia got a red card. Sabaya's got a yellow and Vinicius gets the goal to actually save us from losing the match. We have come to the end of the episode. This is what the table looks like. We are 62 points. 8 points ahead of Sevilla who is actually shockingly in second position and let's go madrid and barcelona come in third and fourth they're still on the same points they are really dragging for that third and fourth place but it's really not my business where we are miles ahead of them nine points to be exact i mean it's not it's not a loss they can actually get that in three matches if i lose back to back to back which i hope does not happen good news is the main team is fit for the match with the exception the tiny exception of bellingham but i actually was okay with that because he has insane stamina though. and as for goals Vinicius has 32 this season. That is insane. It's blowing my mind. 32 goals and 6 assists. The assists aren't really something that I really care about that much. Vlaovic already has 2 goals, which is cool. Um, Rodrigo has 16. Bellingham has 13. Um, Valverde has 8. And well, Alaba has 3. That's the top 5. So Vlaovic is probably going to be in the top 5 by the end of the season. And if we do not get the treble in this season, actually, I'm really curious to see how well he's going to do in the next episode so yeah if you guys have enjoyed this video make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already put down in the comment section what you guys think about the series and if you have any questions feel free to ask until the next video i'll see you guys peace